Let's talk some offensive line options for the Vikings. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus show. I'm One Bar with Lepagus, and we know the Vikings are riddled with injuries along the offensive line. So we're talking five options that the Vikings, you know, maybe sniff around at. You never know. Yeah, splattered with with injuries across the old line. Like you splatter that toilet bowl every Sunday morning. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not looking great for the Vikings. The depth is very, very thin. The starters are very, very inexperienced. You know, at center and right tackle. Not what you want to have heading the playoffs, but we are going to talk about maybe some guys they could find out there in the old bargain bin. You ever pull a good movie of the bargain bin at Walmart? Uh, yeah, I believe RoboCop 2 I got out of there for about two ninety nine. dollars Watched the shit out of that thing for an entire summer. Well done. Well done. What a find. And speaking of finds, find yourself a Liftbridge Brew at Liftbridge Brewing Company, our local liquor store near you, and find the subscription button and hit it. Boing, Boom, boing, right there. Boing. All right, let's do this. So as of now, our uh, offensive line consists of Darisa, Mr. Ezra Cleveland, Chris Reed starting center, Ed Ingram, and Ole Udo at right wow. tackle. And wow. Kevin O'Connell's already said they're going to be looking around – whether depending on who they're looking at, whether it's a guy who could come in and play right away or it's just a guy they need to add to the roster for depth. Uh, how do you, before we even get into these names, like what, what do you potentially even see happening? Uh, I really see it being just some, some dude we got to Google and really have to figure out who this guy is. Maybe he's got ties to Kevin O'Connell in LA. I don't know. Maybe back in Washington days. Uh, but I think it's just somebody we're not going to expect here. I, I know we're putting five names out there right now, but I really expect this to be an under-the-radar signing. And I guess the only hope I have is that at least Chris Reed got those first game out of the way in Lambeau. He played the majority of that game, so he, he got his feet wet. Same with Ole Udo. Feet That's wet. the only minor his... silver lining here is that they actually have that half game, another game against Chicago before we play the playoffs. It's not like this happened the last week. At least we have another week for these guys to prepare. Yeah, I figure they're. Uh, I'm. I'm pretty close to to you. I, I think they're going to sign some guy named John Conway, mm. <laughs> undrafted free agent, like from three years ago, who hasn't played since. But they got they got a couple weeks here. They could sign somebody now, bring them in. I mean, when I say somebody, I mean a guy that could potentially see the field yeah. in the as early as the playoffs. They got time. He won't even have to play this week. And then he's got another week to just, and they can see what they got. If they sign right. this a, a vet, like, all right, this guy is just his day, best days are behind him. Decent depth, so I think there's a tiny chance they sign somebody that could play. Yeah, I, mean, I think this is this is gonna be a depth move, a depth move regardless. Um, unless someone gets hurt, I think they're gonna roll with the guys who who came in last week. Again, they're still hope, you know, holding hope that Garrett Bradbury comes back uh, for the playoffs, but right now not looking great. So yeah, let's see who do you got. Let's let's start talking these names. Well, there's definitely a theme to these guys. They're old and probably most likely washed up. So don't get your hopes up here. So oh, God. let's start off with uh let's start out start off with Matt Paradis. Paradis center. He's bounced around Panthers, Broncos. Last year he tore his ACL. He is 31, 33 years old. Um, the one thing Tom Pelissero tweeted this out early December saying that Matt Paradis has been fully cleared to return to football by whoever, some doctor, um, and teams have already expressed interest. Top center available. So what, the thing with this list is we don't even know if some of these guys want to play anymore. They could just be retired sitting on their coach. But that tweet right there kind of shows that teams are interested. Maybe he actually wants to play. Well, and clear to play, healthy, but is he in shape? We don't know that. He's been working out. Has he been keeping his body up? I don't know. Maybe he's been on the, on the coach watching RoboCop 2, just like you were that one amazing summer that you had. Uh, but life. Denver, I mean, we do have some coaches from the Denver staff on our uh, coaching staff right now. Chris Cooper, the O-line coach, definitely one of them. He probably even played with Matt Paradis back in the day. So there could be a connection there, and that may be a, a window that opens up for uh, this to actually happen. Uh, next up, let's stay with the center position. He is actually on a, the Chiefs practice squad, and that is Austin Ryder, 31 years old. 38 games started in his career, five last year for, for Miami. PFF grades has generally... They're usually pretty damn good. Last year, gross. But he's on the practice squad. We have to pluck him. No, well, I, I like the fact that he's on the practice squad. The guy's been in a system. He's been playing, so you know he's in shape. Uh, ready to go from that standpoint. Uh, how bad was that PFF grade last year? I was, you know what? He, he he only started, I think, five games, but it was, I think it was in the 40s. 
Years before yeah, that, seventies. We're used to that. We're used to that here. We've had we've had questionable interior line play. It might be an upgrade. So uh, Kirk Cousins, you know, it's not like he's not used to having pressure over the top. I'm gonna say I can snap the ball and snap it when he's supposed to. That's key. Yeah, uh, and you said it right off the bat. He's on a team. He's in shape. He's ready to go. What stops the Vikings from anybody they sign? Why wouldn't it be from somebody's practice squad? I mean, they got the yeah. open roster. I mean, why would they sign somebody off the street? Yeah, especially now where you are at the season. You know, a, one game left and then the playoffs. You unless, need ready to go. Unless that man's name is Rashad freaking Hill. And before you start bitching at us, there's not very good names out there. Rashad Hill is mean, 30 years old. Rashad Hill, he can play left tackle, he can play right tackle. I think he can play guard. Hell, he maybe even played a little center in his day. The guy is Mr. Versatility. Uh, I have no idea. Last time he put on a pair of football trousers or a helmet. I do. I don't think he's been in anybody's camp. At least not this year. I don't know if he was last year or not. Yeah, he was in uh, the Commanders camp this year. He was cut was he really? at the very, very end of Commanders. But he has not played a, a, an actual snap since being with the Vikings. Um, and we don't need to talk about Rashad Hill anymore. We know what he is. I'm, I can't believe he's still only 30 years old. It seems like he should be 74. Are you serious? He's 30 years old. Again, but you're looking for a depth at tackle. I mean, Rashad Hill, I, at least he was in a camp this year. All right, we're we got that. We got two more names, um, and honestly, I was going to say this at the beginning. Like the way I see it is, if they sign somebody, it's most likely going to be a center. I think they're fine rolling with not fine. I think they're going to roll with Ole Udo at right tackle. Yeah, but I mean, the question comes: Who's behind there? But Darian Lowe, you want a rookie right tackle? If Udo goes down, that's where it gets horrifying to me. Watch your mouth. And I don't know if they would try to move Ezra Cleveland to tackle. You know, worst case know. scenario, I can't imagine they'd do that. So I, it's the depth at the tackle that I'm worried about. Yeah, the, we've seen on Twitter, there's been a handful of people like they can move Ezra Cleveland around, put this guy, put Chris Reed at guard, blah, blah, blah. But Ezra Cleveland is like on the on the top half of the best guards in the league. Why would they even mess with that? Yeah, and do you really want to do that much shuffling this late in the year? I mean, it's, just, it's no. a recipe for disaster. All right, we got two more. Two more right tackles. Daryl Williams, a very familiar name. Uh, uh, he's with the Bills. He can play guard. He's been playing right tackle. Started 74 games in his career. 17 last year. He started 17. I believe the Bills just cut him because he was making too much damn money. So the man can still play. So why is he? level? Any reason why he's not with the team right now? He's not, not on practice squad? Not the, No, he's not on practice squad. He's a free agent. I don't know why he's not with the team. Maybe he wants too much money. Maybe he's not a very good football player. But when you look him up... I mean, he's the, he's just like one of those other names, like the J.C. Treader for the Vikings. Daryl Williams was a guy bounced. Oh, we got to sign this guy, not for the Vikings, but other teams. Like, oh, we got to sign him. We got to sign him. We got to sign him. So he's still good. I mean, maybe there's some he's unknown still- medical thing that's not, you know, that team saw when they looked at him. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, on paper, it sounds damn good. Daryl Williams. I mean, hell yeah, why not? Uh, all right, last one. Probably the grossest, probably the most unrealistic. Uh, Brian Balaga, yuck. Uh, last two years with the Chargers was cut in March because he was making too much money. He's been hurt too much in the last two years. He's played 11 games in the last two years. And I, you know what? Blog is probably the type of guy that the Vikings called him. Loves, I mean, Pat, former Packer probably tells kiss his ass anyway. No way. He'd be very excited. He'd be coming over. A guy who's played tackle. He's played guard. Uh, gives you depth at both those positions except for center. Uh, you know, I mean, Brian Blog, old, old draft crush back in the day. One of these uh, dreams fulfilled if he were to come in purple for us. But, yeah, would he really be much of a help at this point? Probably not. He's had some pretty serious injuries the last couple of years. So uh, unless he is just – maybe he's like RoboCop, you know, done deal like that. He's probably he's not completely cyborg lower limbs. All right, those are our five that we found. If you got some names you want to throw out, no, we didn't mention J.C. Treader. Uh, it's not happening, not happening. But if you got some names, throw them in the comments. We'd love, love to hear them. I'm sure we'll still get about six JC Treaders. We will. Guaranteed. All right, remember this. France will make condoms free for all 18 to 25-year-olds starting next month.